We'll start with the mossy fiber pathways. This includes the anterior, posterior, cuneocerebellar, and rostral spinocerebellar pathways. They all start in lamina six and seven of the spinal cord. They carry non-noxious and noxious info to the upper extremities and lower extremities, from the spine to the cerebellum. They all end up ipsilaterally to the cerebellum, even if they desiccate beforehand. Mossy fibers also include the pontocerebellar, reticulocerebellar, and the hypothalamocerebellar pathways, which are all afferent. They go from the name and the title to the cerebellum and go through the superior, middle, and inferior peduncles based on the location in the brainstem. Both the spinocerebellar and the cerebellar afferent pathways give off branches to the deep cerebellar nuclei. Mossy fibers go into the granular layer and stimulate the granule cells using neurotransmitters um, like glutamate. They do this with high frequency but weak excitatory postsynaptic potential or EPSP. They bring in the information about what's being planned and what's happening with somatic motor control. Next are climbing fiber pathways. These are the vines on the Purkinje fiber trees. They originate at the deep cerebellar nuclei and their axons come up to the molecular layer of the cerebellar cortex. They are afferent fibers as well. The only pathway that is a climbing fiber is the olivo cerebellar pathway, which comes from the inferior olivary nucleus to the cerebellar cortex and gives off a branch to the deep nuclei as well. They use the neurotransmitter glutamate to give off a powerful excitation to the Purkinje fibers. They only fire when immediate danger is required. Next is the granule cells with the parallel fibers. Think of these as the telephone wires. They run parallel in the molecular layer. The granule cells have their cell bodies in the granule layer of the cerebral cortex, I mean cerebellar cortex, and their axons go up to the molecular layer where they split and become horizontal to form parallel fibers. They are an excitatory neuron that uses glutamate, but is weak to the Purkinje cells, which are inhibitory. This means that it requires multiple action potentials to break the threshold. Lastly is the Purkinje cells. They are in the main efferent neurons from the cortex of the cerebellum to the deep cerebellar nuclei. They have a huge dendritic trees in the molecular layer which is acted on by parallel fibers and climbing fibers. These cells are inhibitory. They will inhibit deep cerebellar nuclei by releasing the neurotransmitter GABA.